Hi guys, so one of my videos that I wanted to get done this month was to kind of update you, or just fill you in and kind of talk about what um, I'm doing school-wise. Um, I've been in community college now for I think about two years. I started off just going part-time and then I kicked it up to full-time. Um, and I'm still continuing full-time, which is really difficult. It just, I'm tr taking four classes the regular semesters and two classes during the summer and um, right now I'm working on my goal is my goal through school when I first started was that I wanted to I really 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 wanted to be a nurse practitioner and work in the um, NICU but after about my second semester of school and realizing how hard school was after being out of school for 10 years since I'm 28 and, uh, you know, I've been out of school at that time, like eight years and how hard it was to balance working a part-time job, which I was doing at the time and doing the family stuff and just how my brain doesn't work as easily as it used to. I realized that the nursing programs here in California is going to be almost impossible for me to get into because you have to have like straight A grades to even get introduced into the lottery to get into, into the system of the nursing pro degree programs. So I could spend two to three years in community college and then I could spend another two to three years on a waiting list just to get into nursing school, which will take another, you know, three years on top of that. And um, I realized that it's just, although I would love to do it, I would love the income. I really think that I'm strong enough of a person emotionally to deal with working in a place like the NICU. I realized that it just wasn't going to work for my future. So I reassessed a little bit and started thinking about what made me more personally happy. And the thing that really, really gets me is photography. I am in love with pictures, and um, I love doing everything from taking it to editing them to putting them together and making announcements and making videos and things like that, and I just, I love doing all of that, so I thought, well, I could be a photographer. They don't make as much money as a nurse practitioner would, but it's something that I could do that I think I could do for the rest of my life and be happy with it, no matter how much money I'm making or how much I'm working or things like that. So I decided to go and get a photography degree through my through the community, the local community college. And on top of that, I thought, well, my goal is to get my general education and a photography degree and then start building out of college, start building up my own business. Um, to eventually have to the point where I, I'm running my own studio. And um, then I thought, well, what's going to happen to me while I'm building the business? i got to have some way to make some form of income. So I thought, well, it could never hurt to get a business degree along with that. So now on top of getting my general education and my photography degree, I'm doing a marketing degree and a business degree. And along with a bunch of certificates in the in line with all that. And I know it's a lot, but I'm just kind of trying to round my whole, I'm just trying to round off my education. And so my goals are outside of college to get involved with, my, my, my dream would be to get involved with some sort of photography company and in in take on some sort of internship and work along the business side with my business degree in some business or something like that and learn from them because I think the best way to learn photography is from somebody else and shadowing somebody else. I don't think that you can learn exactly how to be a photographer in a classroom. So, but I want to be able to make an income. So I think with my business degree, I can make an income and with my photography degree, I can move towards my goals. So that's my goals. Now I've been, in school about two years now I probably have another two years left which is insane but because I'm getting so many degrees I um, you know it's just more classes and I'm okay with that um, 
But now that I've been taking all the photography classes, I found myself not taking as many pictures anymore. Um, my camera just sits there and it really saddens me because that's what I enjoy doing and I enjoy showing. Um, but I, I find now that it's become more of a schoolwork type thing. I just don't do it as a passion anymore. And I'm just kind of reassessing what I want to do. Um, I've thought about maybe starting a company with the business degree and still doing, you know, then moving on photography on the side. I thought about starting um, a cloth diapering party type company where you can throw diaper, diaper parties. Um, now that I'm so into cloth diapering, I've thought about, um, I love throwing parties. So I thought about eventually in the future working and um, buying a place where I can have weddings and throw weddings and doing the photography through that. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of reassessing again. And I feel like I'm, you know, I'm going to be 29 this year. I just don't know what I'm doing. But um, I'm still going to can push forward with the degrees, the business degree. I can always fall back on that and get a job. Um, I'm going to keep pushing forward for my photography degree because I know that I'm going to come out of this slump of, not wanting to take pictures, and um, I think my first thing is I need to fix my um, my camera. I have to send it off and get it fixed. The meter is all off, um, but that's it with my school. I'm taking four classes this semester. I'm, I'm doing all online classes semester since I am pregnant. The semester ends on my May 19th, and I'm due May 10th. And I figured, well. If I can work ahead of schedule, which I'm trying to get to now, then um, when it comes time to have the baby, you know, I'll be able to take a week or so off and then come back and just do finals. So I'm working to get ahead so that I can finish this semester. And then the summer semester, I will take two online classes, and which summer is so much harder since it's, so, it's like half the time. And then in the fall, I'm going to do four classes, um, probably three online, one at night. Um, since I do have a baby and I can't put them, I'm not going to put them in daycare for a couple years. It's probably going to be my way about it now. I'm just doing a couple online and a couple night classes until I can get Jackson into daycare. And then um, when he's within daycare, I can start going back to on-campus classes, which I feel like I learned better anyways. Cause like I said, in um, my rap, like I'm going to say, I, I, I hate reading. And all you do on online is read things, read the lectures, read the books. You don't have somebody sitting there and talking to you and telling you and showing you. And I learn that way. So on-campus classes are really work better for me. But you got to do what you got to do. So I'm pushing through now, and we're going to go from there. So that's about me. That's where I'm at in my schooling um, and working and what my goals are for the future. And I'm just going to kind of play things by ear and just keep pushing through.